do you feel after after the rebound? Well, we feel good. We feel rejuvenated and feel like we're ready to finish these last three games on off strong. Are you personally ready to go for for Saturday? Um, yeah, I think I'm getting healthy. I mean, trying to work every day to get back, and I mean, I feel like I'm in good shape right now. Is it dawned on you that this is your last home game of your career? Um, yeah, it has. I mean, just want to make the best out of it. But I mean, it's your last home game. I mean, I'm not. I haven't really thought of it any more than that. Has it gone pretty quickly? The your time here? Oh, of course. I mean, every year goes by a lot faster. I mean, freshman year felt like. 12, a 12 game season was a long time. Now it feels like it's too short. So, I mean, every year goes by a lot faster than the year before. Is there one Austin memory that sticks out for you? Um, Austin memory, dang, I mean, it's too many. I can't really pick one specific moment. I mean, definitely the first time you step on the field. I mean, that was a great opportunity playing in front of 50,000 after being in high school. I mean, it's a dream come true. How much does having a week off help just the whole team just getting back healthy? Just because I imagine so many of you guys are playing with nicks and bruises that nobody knows about. I mean, it helps a lot, but at the same time, you have to keep that football mindset in because, I mean, when you have a week off, I mean, how often does that really happen? And, I mean, it definitely helps um, your health-wise, but we have to stay focused and keep that football mentality. How tough is Colorado to defend? I think they're pretty tough. I mean, they... Hey, quarterback is thrown for a lot of yards. They have a lot of different guys that have a lot of yards receiving and rushing. So, I mean, they spread the ball around. They get the ball to the guys that they know are their playmakers. And, I mean, Spruce has 100 catches already. So, I mean, they get the ball to their playmakers and they make plays after the catch. So, we have to play tight defense. Well, this offense isn't necessarily one that's rated amongst the best offenses in the conference. But what is it about this team that – they're still able to put up points. They're still able to press teams into the court. I mean, they keep games close. They make e they make the easy throws, and, I mean, they capitalize on them. They find opportunities to get easy third down conversions, and when it's third and short rather than third and long, it's a lot easier to make the, I mean, make the comp conversion. Has Oregon State beat Arizona State? Is that kind of a cautionary tale for you guys? You just, you just yeah. kind of have to play them? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, Play, like Just like we played Oregon State last year, it doesn't matter what your record is when it gets, this, gets to this point in the season. I mean, it really matters who executes the best because everybody knows what, they're, what the other team's doing and really just have to make the best out of that. Everyone knows what you're doing and you just have to execute when it comes down to playing on the field. I know this is uh, he's offense and your defense, but doing a little video card for Farrell Brown. What, if you could say anything to him, then what would you say to him? I want to say, man, just get better. I mean, you have a long road ahead of you, but through your family, your friends, your loved ones. I mean, they're going to be there for you through everything. And I mean, we want the best for you and just get better. With the bye week here, did you get to watch any football yourself uh, this weekend? Yeah, I mean, we got to watch a lot of games in NFL, college. Were you like rooting one way or another for any of the games personally? Nah, I got past that point now. I really don't care. I mean, whoever wins, wins. I mean, you have, when the game starts, you kind of have a team you're rooting for. But before the game, I'm not really too worried.